online precept upon precept. But there's coming a fullness. Yes. There's coming a, 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 it has to be that way. Yes. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Yes. Hallelujah. We're going to stand up as preachers of righteousness. And there is no difference between male and female in the kingdom of God. The word he in the Bible means you can put she in there too. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Mark 4, 28. I'm going to get through these scriptures here. Hallelujah. And then we got something else for tonight. Hallelujah. Mark 4 and 28. Eight. Thank you, Jesus. He says right here, and I quote this all the time, for the earth brings forth fruit of herself. First the blade, thirtyfold. Second, first the blade, then the ear, sixtyfold. After that, the full corn in the ear. When the full thick of it like this, Jesus often spoke in parables. And he told them, know you not this parable? How then will you know all parables? If you can't understand this parable, what in another place he said, if you can't take thought for the least and don't even take thought for the rest, why call we here, Lord, Lord, and do not the things that he says? Thank you, Jesus. First the blade, then the ear, then the full corn in the ear. Because once that full corn gets in the ear, one kernel of corn made that full corn in the ear. And you can probably count how many corns, but I would say there's more than 100 or 300 in that. Take those and plant them. You got 300 plants. Then how many more corns are you going to have? God deals in multiplication and not division. Where there's division, there's other, other evil work. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Luke 17, 20, 25. I've quoted this one already. Many of these scriptures, the Lord has already, but I want you to read for yourself. 17 and 25. He says, but first, must this he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation? This generation, he's going to be rejected, not the physical Christ, but the Christ in you is going to be dejected and rejected. You ever felt bad about when you try to speak to somebody about Jesus and you try to tell them about the powerful love, like that man that walked by, that hate that was on him? The man challenged me in that in the midst of that service at the end of the service. That if he got riled up, I guess he thought I was cursing him, but I wasn't cursing him. I've got the love. I came exactly from a cardboard box. I used to live in a cardboard box. I used to live in a closet. I came out of that street. I sold the dope. I cut the dope up. I sold, I sold kids dope from eight, nine years old. And I feel bad about it. I was the chief of sinners. And I've done some things I couldn't tell my wife that I'd done because she would look at me like, man, but... These are spirits that possess us and take us over. But we can get free. We can shake ourselves like Samson shook himself. There's going to come a time if we don't shake ourselves. Well, then we finally wake up and want to shake ourselves. Then we're going to find the power of God's not with us no more. We've got to shake ourselves now and awake ourselves. Because there's a dark hour coming when the oil of the lamp has got to be burning. He said that your light's been burning and your light's shining. Let your lamps burn and your light shining because a dark hour is coming yes. and we've got to have some extra oil in our vessels to make it through that night hour. Yes. Yes. Work while it's day for night comes where no man can work. Yes. Clean our clothes and trim our wicks. I was out there in the oil field working six months without a day off. I forgot God. I left God in the box. I put God into the spare tire. And I know that each and every one of us has done this. And when you need God, He's back there. I'm going to get Him back out, put Him back on. God will bring me out of this mess. And when you're done, God brings you out of this, you put Him back away. No. Hallelujah. And I was in the midst of a, of a rig trailer where they had rigs, camps out here, way out there in the wilderness. They put them way out there off the beaten path. And this movie came on. And at the end of the movie, this song came on by Johnny Cash and said, The virgins will be trimming their wicks. It's hard for us to kick against the bricks. I felt the Holy Ghost go all over my arm. I looked at these guys that were there in the room, and they felt it too. They, they were paralyzed. They were like, 
They didn't know what to say, what was going on. I walked over there weeping. Hallelujah. I got me some of my Bible tapes out. And I began turning my truck on warm air. And I began to transform myself. Say, Lord, get me out of this mess up here. I worked for six months without a day off. Sure, it was powerful money. I made $105,000 inside of a year. Sure, it was all good. I had all kinds of checks stacked up. But hallelujah, man's life consisted not in abundance of things that he possesses. Hallelujah. The Bible states... What shall a man give in exchange for a soul? Will a man give get get this all this world's good for the exchange of his soul and his soul be lost? We're kept for the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Seven, did I read 17 and 25? Yes, yes, I did. Okay. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53. Hallelujah. Back to Isaiah 53. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 53. Who, who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. It's dry out here. Joseph was thrown in a pit wherein there is no water. His own brethren did it to him. Don't you see what I'm trying to tell you? Your own brethren are going to do you dirty. But we've got to remain constant and unmovable in the love of God. Because through the midst of our child, hallelujah, he's going to bring us out. And we're more victorious. Glory, Jesus. And that when, that's when the principal fruit of righteousness can come forth and bring forth gold. Hallelujah. He'll grow up as a tender plant, a root of the dry ground. He has no form of calmness. And when we shall see him, brother... When we see him, brother, there is no beauty that we should desire. It goes on to say he was despised and rejected. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mark 1 and 15. I quoted this one at the very beginning. But I want to read it. Mark 1 and 15. These are our instructions from the Lord. The manifested word of God. He said here in 14. Now after John was put in prison, Jesus came unto Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Hallelujah. Mark 2 and 2 says this. He says, and straightway or right, immediately many gathered together insomuch there was no room to receive him. Not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. The Bible says, Know them that labor among you. And we've got to know the word. We've got to study the gospel of Christ, which is the power of God. For this need is the salvation in any other than at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. We've got to realize when we preach the gospel of Christ, that that's what's going to set them free. Paul said, I come not unto them in enticing words. In man's wisdom and scams and traditions and schemes because he was a Pharisee, a chief of all Pharisees. Was he not a doctor of the law? He knew the law, he knew the Torah, but he didn't have the spirit in it. It was only when he was knocked off his high horse. We're, we're going to get something when we get too high and God knocks us down. Is that not right, brother? Yeah. God will knock you down. God will pull the feet, you, the rug breaks from under your feet to, to, to let you see that we've got to obey him and overcome by him and abide in him to do his will. Hallelujah. Because if we abide in him and he abides in us, we're going to bring forth more fruit. But it doesn't feel so pleasant when he's purging us. When he's cutting off the dead branches. Because it's, it's got to happen so we can bring forth fruit and bring forth more fruit abundantly. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, that the Lord is calling and we are going to answer. Someone's going to answer the call. Somewhere there's going to be a people that are going to possess the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Me and Brother John were in. We were in the store today. We had a meeting with the... <laughs> With the pastor that has ministered over there at the watchman. And whilst we were there, it just popped into my mind. And I asked Brother John how he felt about it. Oh, Susie in there? 